What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a talk through get ready with me. I'm supposed to go out and do run some errands and um, my makeup changes depending on the mood that I am honestly and I'm pretty sure most of you can say the same thing that your makeup changes depending on how you feel that day. So yeah I wanted to share with you guys my easy everyday running errands makeup and if you like the thumbnail and you want to see how I achieve this look just come and keep watching with me. Alright, so I already prepped my face, I already applied my moisturizer. The L'Oreal Bright Reveal Brightening Moisturizer. This I am loving. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prime my primer. And I'm going to try um, the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer. I have never tried it, so I'm going to go ahead and try it with you here. And I'm going to see how my skin loves it. I've never tried it before, honestly, but just as pore perfecting. This pretty much minimizes the appearance of pores and it helps the skin, but it's not a primer, ladies. It's not, it was an intent for a primer, so it's not gonna give you the same effects of a primer, but hey, it's close. <music> I'm gonna be using the Naked Skin One and Done. And it's very sheer coverage, it's not a lot of coverage. It doesn't have like a lot, um, it's just pretty much like a BB cream and that's what we want to go for. We don't want to uh, kick up our face or overdo it because it's a simple everyday look. Just in one single way, I never I'm going to use a beauty blender with this because I feel as the formula works better and blends better to the skin when I use it with a beauty blender because I used it with a brush and I kind of felt like I was removing the product from my face instead of actually ap applying it to the face so damn beauty blender and dab away baby dab away baby I like to move into my um, eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work my eyebrows with the L'Oreal uh, Brow Stylus Definer pencils. These pencils have been my holy grail lately. I love these pencils. So I use two colors. I use a darker one to define the brow and a lighter one to fill them in. So that's what I'm just gonna be doing. Brush on my hair. So I just defined the brow on the bottom. I start at the bottom just to pretty much get the shape that I want. <sighs> you always need to be brushing away your hairs just to make it look a little bit more natural. Make me fall in love. Are done I move on to the eyes and I conceal also the under eyebrows under the eyebrows I don't go crazy concealing and defining them I really don't but I move on to the eyes now so it's a simple look but I still want to bring some definitions into my eyes and not make my eyes like disappear from my face so I'm going to just pretty much grab I'm going to show you like an orangey transition color and I, I can get this palette open I find that color in my Morphe 35OM that's where I find the color and this is the color that I'm talking about right here sort of like an orangey color and what I like to do is I like to grab a big fluffy dumb brush and um, I just like to apply it I like to apply mains, mainly on that bone right here, that crease bone. I, f I have that very defined. So I let myself go with that and pretty much just blend it inwards and outwards. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to bring some definitions into the eyes so the eyes kind of look open. Especially if you have like that eyes where it's like um, you barely have a crease on it. I do. My crease is very, very defined, but sometimes that could be a curse, honestly, because it's just really hard for you to blend and be able to 
apply different colors. So I just pretty much do this in motions, like just outside a little bit towards the upper part of my um, brow. That's what I like to do. Let's do the same thing to the other eye. Like a, it's not like this actually. It's like this. Because I want to open my eye up. I don't want to close it. So I feel as if I do this, I bring concentration into that kind of shape of the eye. And I don't want that. I really just want to get like, I just want to open my eyes up. Now I do want to um, bring a little bit of highlight to my brow bone. So I'm going to grab any highlight color that you have. And I'm going to be using the Pixi uh, by Petra uh, palette, the bronze set palette. This is the Summer Glow palette bronze. And I'm going to apply that very light white highlight. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be using the same palette. And I'm going to be using that one right here that's supposed to be a highlight. So I'm just going to apply that on the lid and concentrate more on the inner corner of my eye. And then just bring everything else outside. So to make like that liner effect, but with brow with eyeshadow, I'm going to be using a very very pointy dome brush, and this is the Royal and Link Nickel Moda. I'm gonna show you what they look like. This is what they look like. This is the brush sets that I'm using. This is the purple one. This is the I'm using the white set, and this is Moda, and they sell these brushes at Walmart. They're pretty, pretty amazing, good brushes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna try to grab a dark brown color, and I'm gonna go with any of this dark browns over here, and I'm just going to apply this just like this, and I'm gonna use that to line my eye, my lash line, so it looks like the appearance of liner, but I don't have that. I don't have liner on. Yeah, I don't have it. Okay, so with a little, this type of sponge um, application, I like to grab the darker, um, the same brush, the same shadow that I used, and pretty much go over it, just to pretty much uh, make it look a little bit darker, and you can actually see it, and I like to wing it a, just a little bit. And if you guys get close to it, it's not, it doesn't look like an eyeliner, it's definitely a shadow, and it looks so natural. So I'm going to be using the Pacifica Natural uh, Dream Big. This is a two-in-one. You twist the little cap at the bottom and it makes the bristle smaller. So it gives you volume. And if you twist it again, it makes the bristle longer. The one longer and it gives you length. So we're going to go ahead and do the length first. You hit me like a bass drum. Run it to the rhythm. Make me wanna oh, 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 oh. oh, you did. So once you pack on mascara, and believe me, I let it dry a little bit and then I go back in and apply more coats of mascara. <gasps> I know, I'm, I'm a freak like that. I just like my lashes to pop. So I'm going to go in with my concealer routine and I'm just going to grab the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer. And we're just going to do that triangular motion snappy doodles under your eye, a little bit on the bridge of your nose. And let's fan it out on my big old forehead. <laughs> baby, baby. The point to looking awake and uh, very awake and alive is to brighten your eyes, especially your under eyes. So yes, this is a must step. You can skip it. You can just wear a little bit of concealer, dab it, and that's it. But I want to brighten my under eyes and look completely awake. So I'm going to set my eye under eyes with the Contour Kit by Anastasia because I ran out of my other powders. Alright, so for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Beach Bronze Bronzer. And it's such a beautiful color. So I'm just pretty much, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply it as a bronzer. I'm not going to contour. Into the glass to be right in time. The truth comes out in red. Can't you open now? I can't. Alright, so with that pixie palette, I'm going to 
to grab uh, that blush on the bottom. I'm going to grab the blush. I'm going to grab. I'm going to use the blush and I'm going to use that highlight as well, all together. Wonder what color I'm going to use on my lip. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Ofra Mani MUA in Aries. It's like a. I don't know. It's like a. It's a beautiful color. But always. My trusty NYX lingerie in 07. So, Aries by MUA and Ofra. I don't even know you, know you hate. Tell me your last name. Now something's growing stronger for every day. I'm into one. All right, ladies, so this is the completed look. So this is pretty much what I like to use on like when I'm running errands and it's like a weekday, it's not like a weekend. If it was a weekend, girl, I tell you, I will smoke this eye out and definitely put on some falsies and girl, I would definitely bake my face and snatch my face and bake it and beat it and all these words that they use when you put makeup. Whatever happened to, you know, putting makeup on? Making my face look nice. No, now it's now it's beat and snatched and ah, I can't keep up. <laughs> well, anyways, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I wanted to make it a talk through. I think I haven't done a talk through in my channel. And I wanted to explain to you a little more in definition as to why I use it, how I use it, when I use it, and uh, why I use it. So I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you like this makeup look. Um, you can use it for anything. It could be a daytime glam. You can use it for anything. So thank you so much for sticking till the end. If you really liked this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to be part of my Chica family here on YouTube and as well as my Snapchat fam, all you have to do is... Subscribe to my channel and all my social media information is down below. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Mwah! Beso this. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye. Now I gotta go get dressed. Peace.